Stephanie Evans is three months from giving birth to her second child with every intention of having an epidural. I had one last time around. Don't really want to imagine what that experience would have been like without those pain meds. An epidural is a spinal injection used for pain management during labor. It temporarily numbs the area from mid-belly to thigh, except there's a critical shortage of the catheter that carries the pain-relieving medicine. Sharon Luce is a doula and childbirth educator who learned that yesterday when her client was getting an epidural. She had had a, a long labor and was very exhausted. Um, and the anesthetist let her know that they are very short in supply of the catheter tubes for epidurals and it's just a matter of days before they run out. The epidural catheters are the latest example of serious issues paralyzing part of the global supply chain. There are confirmed shortages in B.C., Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. According to federal data, nearly 60 percent of pregnant women choose to have an epidural. We're getting concerned that uh, the regular gold standard uh, of care, particularly around uh, obstetrics, uh, labor analgesia, um, is now going to be impacted and that uh, we, we, may, we may not be able to provide those services. Alberta says it has enough supply to stave off an imminent crisis, but it joins Saskatchewan in scouring North America looking for new sources of supply. Health Canada says it's determining if there is a national shortage and what might be needed to mitigate it, including tapping into international supplies. Stephanie Evans says she can only hope provincial and federal governments will work together give pregnant mums and women a little bit more of an idea of what they're walking into with pregnancy and with delivery. Including knowing an epidural is available. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.